back on the Sports Zone. I am Mike Aglialoro. Once again, thanks to everyone who subscribed to my YouTube channel, MikeAgs121. If you haven't done so, please do so right under the video. Make sure you check out the website, thisisportszone.com. Follow us on Facebook and like us on Twitter at We Are Sports Zone. So we're continuing our 2014 fantasy football preview for the coming season. We've done the sleeper and bust at the running back position. And today we're going to move to the wide receiver position and look at the sleepers you should remember as you head into your fantasy football drafts. We're going to do this in two parts. We're going to look at five right now. And the first one we're going to look at is going to be T.Y. Hilton of the Indianapolis Colts. For some reason, it seems like both ESPN and Yahoo have a problem ranking this guy within the top 20. And i got to be honest, by the end of the season, they're going to feel incredibly stupid for doing so. This guy has gotten better over the course of his first two seasons, and now he's entering his third season in the league. He heralded third year for wide receivers, which is generally the breakout season. And he's also got Andrew Luck coming into his third season in the year. And with the two of them being together for the past two seasons, you got to figure he's the guy that Luck feels the most comfortable throwing the football to. Now, obviously, Reggie Wayne will be back in the picture this year, and they did sign a King Nix. But I only look at that as really going to be able to help T.Y. Hilton. Neither one of those guys is really at the point of their career where you can consider them a legitimate number one wide receiver. So the field is wide open for Hilton to seize that role, not just this season, but for the distant future for the Indianapolis Colts. And if you take him as a number three wide receiver, it's very possible he puts up number one wide receiver type numbers. You can currently get him in the mid-rounds. If you want to use a fourth-round pick on the guy, I'm not going to dispute you for doing so. Moving on, we're going to look at Terrence Williams of the Dallas Cowboys, the official number two wide receiver for the Cowboys. going to be lining up next to Des Bryant with Miles Austin finally being released this offseason. He had some very quality moments last year in place of the oft-injured Miles Austin. His total numbers for last season were 44 receptions, 736 receiving yards, and five touchdowns. Very important to keep in mind here, he had three receptions of over 50 yards last season. Two of them went for touchdowns. So you got to figure, when the defenses start double-teaming Des Bryant, Williams is basically set up for a banner second season in the league. And right now, he's currently ranked within the top 30. He could be putting up top 20 numbers by the end of the season. So make sure you grab him in the mid to late rounds. The first rookie that should be off the board in terms of wide receivers, in my opinion, is Brandon Cooks of the New Orleans Saints. We talked about him when we looked at the rookie receivers to remember back after the NFL draft. And I just want to mention him again because a lot of people have been talking about Mike Evans and talking up the fact that generally first-year wide receivers really do not amount to much unless they are picked within the top 15. That seems to be the trend based on percentages given out by Yahoo Sports Insiders and ESPN Insiders over the last few weeks. But I look for Cooks to book that trend this coming season. He's got that Percy Harvin type quality. That's why the Saints traded up to get him. He's only got Marcus Colston and the second year Kenny Stills to beat out at the actual wide receiver position. Of course, Jimmy Graham is the de facto number one wide receiver. But I think with all those weapons at Drew Brees' disposal, the fact that they're going to be able to line Cooks up all over the field, whether it's in the slot, the backfield, or at either wide receiver position, is going to open things up for him. And I expect Cooks to have that Percy Harvin, Cordell Patterson type impact. And I expect him to have it a lot sooner than those guys were able to do it, really. He's another guy been ranked inside the top 35 wide receivers. It's possible he puts up top 20 numbers. If you get him in the later rounds, you're not going to be disappointed. Next on the list, we're going to look at DeAndre Hopkins of the Houston Texans. Now, it's not a secret that I am down on the Texans offense this coming season. I labeled Arian Foster a bust. I'm going to be labeling Andre Johnson a bust when we do our bust wide receivers. I don't like Ryan Fitzpatrick, a quarterback, but I got to be honest. Hopkins had a decent rookie season last year with 52 receptions, 802 yards, two touchdowns. 
Six receptions over 30 yards last season. He is the deep threat. He is the heir apparent to Andre Johnson. And because Johnson is still the number one wide receiver, and because I do expect him to face numerous double teams throughout the season, I look for Hopkins to be able to take advantage of all that and use that to put up probably the best season a Houston wide receiver is going to be able to have this season. If you only have one Texans wide receiver to take this season, make it DeAndre Hopkins. The last guy we're going to talk about is a guy who has truly been forgotten in one-year leagues, and that is Tavon Austin. Ranked outside the top 50 wide receivers, by Yahoo Sports. This is a guy the Rams took with a top 10 pick last year. Another guy thought of in that Percy Harvin, Cordell Patterson mode. He didn't really do much last year, but if you look at the numbers he was able to put up, nine rushes for 151 yards, one touchdown. He had runs of 56 yards and 65 yards. That one went for a touchdown. Receiving-wise, he caught 40 passes for 418 yards and four touchdowns. One of those was an 81-yard bomb. As far as the return game, he returned 51 punts and kicks for 679 yards, and he did have one touchdown. The explosive potential is there. And if you look at the other weapons the Rams have, there is no other wide receiver in his class unless Kenny Britt truly does have a comeback type season and in the backfield he could still steal some touches away from Zach Stacy and Trey Mason so given the fact that he's ranked outside the top 50 if you're in a one-year league and you can get him within the last three rounds that's your lottery ticket that could take you to the title so once again summing this up The five wide receivers we looked at in part one were T.Y. Hilton of the Indianapolis Colts, Terrence Williams of the Dallas Cowboys, Brandon Cooks of the New Orleans Saints, DeAndre Hopkins of the Houston Texans, and Tavon Austin of the St. Louis Rams. Once again, thanks to all who have subscribed to us at MikeAggs121. Make sure you do subscribe under the screen if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at We Are Sports Zone, and check out ThisIsSportsZone.com for all the latest from the rest of the Sports Zone team. Once again, folks, thanks for watching. Send us any questions and comments you may have. I am Mike Agliolo, and we will see you next time, folks.